Hello and welcome to another vlog. You join us here in Rome where we're going to be spending the next two days exploring the city. Welcome to another vlog. We arrived in Rome last night, we're here for three days and we're just going to be exploring the city for Aidy's birthday. So last night we got here and of course we had to get some pasta. So we went and had some lovely pasta, some chocolate gelato, some Aperol spritz and then just came back to our hotel that we're staying in. We're gonna go out this morning, grab some coffee. Hopefully it's not too awful because we haven't heard the best thing about Italian coffee. And then we're gonna head to the Coliseum. So we're just walking down to the beautiful Colosseum, of course, the most viewed place here in Rome. Very warm, 24 degrees, which is uncommon, I think, for this time of year. We're going into October, um, but we're excited to go and have a little look. the ancient Roman Forum right now. Um, apparently this is like ancient government grounds. Um, personally, really cool to look at. They've got some really old kind of um, cool ruins. Very much reminds me of when we were in Athens. However, um, personally, I think the Colosseum is much cooler, but it's included in the ticket price, so worth coming in regardless. <laughs> I haven't really spoken much to you guys today at all um, but as you'll have seen we went to the Colosseum and 
it was absolutely incredible it was so beautiful but just one thing to note is when you do go there if you can book some tickets in advance because we got there and there's like hundreds of tour guides that stood outside the Coliseum and asking you if you've got tickets, if you've booked, if you're booked in advance, all this stuff. And they will just try and scare you basically. So um, they'll pull up their phone and show you that there's no tickets available, um, which can be true. Like we did actually look on ours and it looked like there was none available as well. Um, but we just tried not to panic, just kept refreshing our pages, did it on both of our phones, looked at different options because there's a few different variations that you can get as well. And um, we managed to get two tickets for like a half an hour later slot than what we were there. So um, don't panic, don't go with the tour guides because it's 45 euros if you go with them. They tell you that you get the all access ticket, which is not true. Um, you actually only get the one that gets you into like it doesn't get you down into the underground arena which ours didn't either you have to book that one around a week in advance but to be honest I don't think you really need to worry too much about it if you can't get there like you can get to everywhere else and you can actually still go down there's just one somewhere area you can't get into so we're gonna go out for dinner we're gonna stay a little bit around where we're staying which is um, near the Roma Tami um, we think it's a <laughs> Shut up! What is it? Permany Roma. All right, know it all. Well, <laughs> we're going to the Roma Termini. Is that right? Anyway, what I was gonna say before I was rudely interrupted <laughs> is we think it's a little bit more traditional near there. So um, we're gonna get some nice traditional pasta. It's a lot cheaper near there as well. I think last night we only paid like seven euros each for our meal. I just thought it would be a quick outfit of the night. So I've got this blazer from Zara. This is an old top. I believe it's from River Island. River Island. River Island denim shorts. And I'm just going to wear some New Balance trainers. Trevi found him before anybody else to get some pictures. And it's someone's special day today. Happy birthday, Avi. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. <laughs> Too early. <laughs> better than yesterday. Just be careful when you do come to Rome. Apparently, as soon as you put your bum in the seat, it makes coffees, for example, a little bit more expensive, which we don't mind too much. It's not too bad. Um, I think yesterday we paid like seven euros and today it was nine euros. So. Someone's special day. You got any grey hairs yet? <laughs> Someone looks like they want me to support Chelsea, but looks not. <laughs> Are you converted? Let me go on today. So we decided to pick up some takeaway croissants on our way back from Trevi Fountain and these just look incredible. So I've got a custard. Is it like a creamy custard? Yellow cream. Yellow cream. I think it's more like a custard though. And Aiden's got 
a pistachio. Mm. Come on then, give it a taste. Birthday croissants, hey? Good. Mm. I'm not sure pistachio is my thing, but I'll go this one there. Mmm. Mmm. It's like a like a pasta. Yummy. to one of the designer shopping streets in Rome and it's got an incredible view at the top. It's clear to see why this is one of the top things to do in Rome. The streets here are just absolutely stunning and we've been blessed with amazing weather again thankfully. For any of the uh, 90s babies you'll know what I say when I feel like I'm in the Lizzie McGuire movie right now. So we're just at Spanish Steps. Um, obviously, there's a, there's a few people around. There's a couple of horses and chariots over there as well. Um, but yeah, it's absolutely swarming with people. There's a really nice strip here, super picturesque. Um, obviously, where well, we can't move people out of the way, so we just have to cope with that. But it's a really beautiful street. There's tons of like designer, high, high street fashion shops. So a bunch of other stuff. We're gonna check that out, see if we can find anything cool. And um, yeah, we'll, we'll see you there. To be honest, I'm not really sure on the horse and carts. Um, I feel like the hill will look a little bit sad. So personally, I wouldn't be taking one, but I guess it is kind of a very romantic Italian thing to do if you are here and you want to do some of the touristy stuff. It's got its new sunny. <laughs> the cat in hand. What more could you want on your birthday, hey? <laughs> we come to the Lost Food Factory in this square where people are queuing for cleaners over there. Come over here and get yourself one for six euros that tastes incredible. <laughs> Because it's Aidan's birthday on this trip in Rome, I decided to treat him to a special hotel for our last night here. So we went all out and I'll give you a very quick group tour. So as you walk in, you can turn to the left here. And this is the main living area. So it has, actually has like a heart shaped table in it. Um, and a zebra printy, all dark and black. It's got some mood lighting, which you can actually change to different colors. And a futon here. We've got the windows open at the minute because it does get pretty dark in here. Um, we have everything in the fridge is actually um, included, which is great the champagne will be popping soon. If we come through here, we have the bathroom with a very European bidet. Aussie viewers may not know what this one is, but this is for cleaning your bum hole. <laughs> Let's put it nicely. Um, toilet. Shower up here with some mood lighting. Wow, are they like jets in the shower as well? Um, and then we get through to the main attraction, the bedroom. <laughs> so we come in here, we've got the birthday boy admiring it out onto the Rome streets. We have <laughs> the bed that's raised above the floor. You've got like steps 
to get up to it and mood lighting there as well <laughs> around here we actually have our own private sauna <laughs> so in here there's this is so funny <laughs> in sauna and then <laughs> the best part ad will you take it away <laughs> <laughs> the hot tub <laughs> which actually slides under the bed you excited <laughs> well fun times <laughs> ready for this evening and we're gonna head out for lovely Italian pizza and pasta to celebrate Aiden's birthday. We're ready to have some hopefully espresso martinis and porn star martinis that's what we fancy so we'll grab those grab some pizza grab some pasta and just enjoy our last night in Rome. What are you watching AD? He's watching the famous Lord <laughs> Who is it? Robinson. Wow! What should everybody do? Wow, yeah, good one, hun. Thanks for that. <laughs>